Hey there, welcome to NZ Money Karma, where you can find a bit of freedom from the daily grind. I'm going to be doing a bit of budgeting, I'm going to be talking about my frugal life and the way we live simply, so that we can have plenty of dollars left over to do fun stuff, um, and the adventures that we get up to. Welcome to you, and welcome to 2024. If you've subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for doing that. If you've given it a thumbs up, also thank you. It gives me a lot of encouragement. And I've decided this year I'm really going to try super hard with YouTube to make this a successful channel. It's one of my New Year's resolutions. Last year my resolution was just to actually do it. I'd kind of thought about it for a long time and not done anything about it. Um, so this year I'm really going to be making a big effort with YouTube and also over at Substack to make sure that I'm regularly writing articles over there. So. The link is in the description if you want to check out what I'm writing about. It's often, it's not necessarily about money, but often it has a bit of a money spin on it. Um, and it's a nice adjunct, I think, to YouTube where you're, you know, getting to see things. Sometimes it's nice just to be able to sit down and read something for a couple of minutes. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate that. So the first pay of 2024 for my husband, I'll show you what I've got here. So 370, and the reason it's 370, and it would normally be 500, is because I've already been to the supermarket. And I have spent $130 and eek, I actually still need a little bit more. I forgot to get dishwashing liquid and tomatoes. There are no tomatoes yet in my garden and we are all craving them, so I want to buy some. So I'm going to put a bit of extra money into the food envelope, seeing as I forgot that, which is kind of annoying because I could have bought them, um, but instead I just used the money to buy stocks for the cupboard. But never mind. So this will be, I think we have one more pay, as a single income family before we become a double income family because when the kids go back to school, I'm going back to work. Kind of exciting, I have a job and I'm all set to go. So um, you won't see this money here because we'll be saving at all. We'll just still have the same amount of money even though we will be earning more. But part of living frugally is just setting your budget and sticking to it and not kind of having that lifestyle inflation that comes with more and more money. Um, that's We've always done that. We've always lived on one wage and that's been a real key to our success. So let's get stuffing. It's not really a resolution, but one thing I did say to myself now that I'm going to be really serious about this channel and really try and make it a huge success is that I need to get something to put this money in that keeps it all nice and tidy on the side. So watch this space. Changes are afoot. Thank you, Doke. So my weekly envelopes, Kai, I've used it all. And I am going to put in another 20 and go and grab those bits and pieces. This will throw my budget that I've written down out of whack a little bit, but not, not to worry. Me? Oh, I'll tell you what, I forgot to actually pay myself back this week because I bought a pair of um, school shoes for my daughter on Trade Me and I paid for them out of this money and I forgot to get it out. So actually I'm owed $75 from my kid's bank account, like the kid's account, not the actual bank account, so I'm not going to go and nick from them. There's 20 in here this week for me. So that gives me, that's 75, so I would have 150 actually in here. The kids, they're getting their $5 each. And my husband is getting his 20. Cool. It's so quick and easy. I love having those little homemade envelopes. Okay, road trip. So we have some fixed expenses that I know I need to pay into each week. My husband's going to use this on Sunday to go away for his work. So I'm putting in extra 
Well, once that's topped up, I'm just putting in extras for us as a family if we want to hire a car and go and do something. So there's $50. So we're all even Stevens with that. In my miscellaneous, I still haven't sorted my camera out and I've got $50 in there for clothes. I'm just going to put $10 in because for no real reason, we've done... Um, We've done uniform shopping this week, so that's come, that's out of separate money. That comes out of my specific account that I have for the kids. Um, I spent four hundred and ten dollars yesterday on a summer on one summer uniform and one pair of PE shorts. My daughter's uniform in its entirety, apart from the PE shorts and new socks, has been second hand, and I'm really pleased with it. It's all in excellent condition. The shoes I got have been worn only a handful of times. Um, they were an exchange students who ended up leaving New Zealand, you know, and going home after just a couple of weeks. So they're basically brand new. They're $185 McKinley school shoes. They're called Molly's. They're like a Mary Jane style. Super expensive, but that's the shoes for the school, and I got them for 75 so I'm super stoked with that. Um, my son's uniform, however, I couldn't get second hand. They had no none available that was second hand, so I've had to buy that new. So I've just done the summer uniform, and then closer to winter, I'll do his winter uniform. Not because the money's not there, because it's in the bank and ready and waiting, but because he grows so much, like crazy. <laughs> so I just thought, if I buy him pants now, there's a really good chance that he actually won't fit them. Okay, so for the kids... School fees, I have to put in $90. That's my minimum. I can put in more, get there quicker, but that's not just fees either. That's also uniform for next year when the uniform changes. So that's done. Uni, what will I give you? I'd like to give you five, so let's take that out. And finally, for their sports fees, that needs, what's in there? That's 50, and I need 80. So what did I say I was going to do? I was going to give that 10, actually. So let me give these two fives to myself. That will make it easier. And I'll take a 20. So there you go. I'm at 60. So another week, and I should have that one there taken care of, which will make life a little easier, just having one less thing to kind of think about. Up until this last year, my kids have really not cost us very much money. But I am finding, now they're kind of entering this teen kind of lifestyle, they are getting a little more expensive. Okay, into the house, I'm going to put in $10. And that just gives me 60 for little things that might need doing around here. We are saving online. If you've watched my New Year's budget video, you'll see that we're putting $100 a week. I'll link that in the description below because that's quite a good look to have an idea about where we're heading with our life in 2024. We've got lots of things we want to get done around our house, which is why we're putting $100 a week into that account. And the one I'm looking forward to most is chickens. Chickens in 2024. I see them as part of my life. Okay, into bikes. Okay, I've got 60 and I'm going to give myself another 10, so that's 70. And finally, tech. Let's have a look. What are we going to do here? I'm going to take all these fives because it is actually nice to have them. And I think I will just give... So that had 70. I'm just going to put in five, so that's 75. Here we go. That's done and dusted. I'd love to know if you have time to pop a comment below. Um, what brings you here to this particular channel and how did you find it? Like I said earlier on, I'm really trying to nail this YouTube thing this year. I really want to make a success of it. And part of me doing that, I think, is knowing why people have subscribed and why they watch. So if you do have time, it would be really helpful if you could let me know below. So thanks in advance, if you do. 
here's my goals. These are my quarter one goals. So I've got my binder set up into sections. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And quarter one has got some fun. So I've got one in there for eating out. And that's actually all done. But there are lots of cool things happening in Christchurch, New Zealand, where I live, over the summer. It's a great city for um, like big free events or not really free, you do have to pay like a gift donation, call it a koha in New Zealand, but there's an expectation that you pay it, but it might only be like $5 per person or something like that, and there's lots of things like outdoor movies, um, there's big concerts in the, in the Botanic Gardens, so huge park in Christchurch, and I want to make sure that we can go to those. The other thing I really want to be able to do is my son would really like to go to the cricket, I don't want to go to cricket. I find it really boring. But my husband is going to take him. So I'm going to need $40 for them to go and do that. And a couple of, I don't know, maybe some money to go to an outdoor movie, that kind of thing. So that's all happening over the next month. So I'm just going to start putting a bit of money aside for that so that we have it when we need it. Animals. My dog is getting groomed this week. Yay, he's so fluffy. It's, it's being a bit crazy for him. So I want to put in some money here. I've got 100 towards the rabbit vet, which needs 160. So I'm going to put in 15 here. Miscellaneous animals needs 120. And I'm going to put in... 15 there as well. So that gives me 65 there. And then after this week, I'll have to start saving for a groom again for quarter three. But I probably won't do that until I've filled up these other sections because they'll be more of a priority. Okay, medical dental. Got tons and tons of subheadings as well under this one. So miscellaneous medical dental needs 80 because that's how much it is for a GP visit for an adult in New Zealand. And I'm going to pop in five there. Um, dermatologist, I am needing 300. I'm going to put in 15. What have I got here so far? 150. And then that's the dental hygienist. I don't need that for ages, but I'm just going to put in five. I was going to put in ten, but no, I've looked at my notes and I'm going to put in five. And then here I have potentially a filling that might need doing later on in the year. And I'm also going to put in five there. How are you guys going with your New Year's resolutions? Do you do that? I just love being frugal. And I know that's a very weird thing to declare. But each day, living this kind of lifestyle, it pushes me to learn new skills and new ways of doing things. And I really love that. Just as a person, it makes me happy to kind of be learning new things. And this week, I have been doing plenty of cooking and preserving I'm going to put in $5 here. One of my news resolutions um, was to put up 100 jars of something into our pantry. And I have never done that many before. And it's certainly not enough to be self-sufficient, but it's a decent number, I think, to start with. And I thought, if I could do that this year, then, you know, who knows what I can achieve next year. I have big plans for the garden in 20, like the summer of 2024, 2025, and I'm going to be making lots of changes over winter this year to do it. But, yeah, I've done, so far I've put up 17 jars of things, 17 different jars, and today I'm going to be getting on and making some mint sauce. So I'm not sure how many I'll do, but that'll, that'll also go into that tally. Okay, I better see what I've got left because it doesn't look like much. So I've got $25. I swap out some tens for fives. It will give me a bit of leeway. Cool. 
So I've got gifts and then I've just got my challenges. So I'm kind of on track. It's feeling a little bit skinny at the end here. And I think that's because I overspent with my food shopping. But it's okay, these things happen. So Easter, I've got 20. I'm just going to give you five because Easter is not really that close, is it? But if I don't put anything in there, it will sneak up on me. Birthday, this is the same kind of time of year, but eek actually will feel like it sneaks up because I need a lot more for that one. I've come up with 180. I don't actually need 180. That's something I made up. This birthday will get sorted with whatever I have available, and it will be awesome. My kids have never had an unnice birthday. You know, they've always been magical. And I feel like I can do that with whatever the money is. We will just make it work. And miscellaneous. That's for gifts for other just random people. I'm not going to put anything in there this week. Okay, and here are the challenges. I like to get these out. So I'll do that one last because it's kind of an easy-ish one. This here is hard because it requires $10 each time and I might not have $10. I mean, I could just take $10, I suppose, but eek, it does make it hard. Okay, let's just do it. Be bold. I'm not going to count them up. It's all going to be a wonderful surprise for me at the end of the year. Hopefully, I haven't had to break into any of these. This is my intention, that I can do the challenges and just set them aside. And then at the end of the year, kind of have this wad of cash to start 2025 with. But I don't know if it's going to be possible. So it's an intention rather than a promise. Okay, guys? So 26-week challenge. I've still got quite a few little ones I can do there, which is good. And here also. So what have I got left? I've got $5 there. And I've got $1.50 in there. So I'll take my dollar out. And here. Okay, let me do $4 here. So I'll take that and give myself a dollar change. This is what I literally love about these challenges is that when you've got a bit of leeway, you know, if it's a good week, you can have, you know, do a big one. If it's a little week, you just do a little one, but you still made progress. And I'm all about that. To me, it's all about the little tiny steps. Because when you take these little tiny steps, you get to really big goals. I've been doing this for a really long time, and it's what's helped us pay off our house. It's what's helped us um, homeschool our kids and have one parent at home always, never having to, you know, we've never had to have two incomes to live our life. And so much of that is just through the little steps, the little budgeting, staying on track. If you make a mistake, you know, try and correct it. I don't say, oh, well, never mind. I say, okay, well, I overspent in that area. I have to make it right in another area. You know, hold yourself accountable. That's something that's really worked well for me. And then this leaves me with just two Deliros left. But that's okay, because there's a $2 section. And I've done it. That's it, first cash stuff of 2024, done and dusted. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to the new year. I hope everything is going according to plan, and if it's not, that you have a plan in place to, to make it right. Um, please, if you have time, drop me a comment below. If you haven't already given it a thumbs up and subscribe, please do. I'd love to have you along as part of this community. And I look forward to catching up with you guys next time. Bye for now.